Hey, greetings! Performance reviews where I give the review from the technician's point of view. And today we have a much requested product, which is a Tyneco hard floor scrubber. Now these machines are marketed as a two-in-one, both vacuum and auto scrubber. In all reality, almost all of these machines that are marketed this way, not just the Tyneco brand, these are just auto scrubbers. You still want to vacuum your floors before you use these things. The bin capacity is quite small and not designed to handle big stuff like pet hair. Despite this name not being anywhere on the product, this machine is marketed as a Floor 1 S3, as we see it on Amazon. And this machine is, again, marketed as a dry, wet vacuum, even though it's only an auto scrubber. So let's talk about what it comes with. Now, I want to give a big thank you to Effie for lending this to the channel, who's a friend of my wife's. This machine comes with an extra brush roller, which I do not currently have in my possession, but it does come with that user manual. You get a brush for cleaning, along with a little hook to clean off pet hair. You get a extra filter, a charging stand, the machine itself. Charging has commenced. A lovely voice. And then you have your brush in here. And these brushes Charging are... Charging has commenced. <laughs> Charging has commenced. These brushes are quick changeable. So easy to change. And I suspect these are going to be a wear item. Just like any other one of these that we've seen. So I do like how Charging easy... Charging has commenced. <laughs> And the machine will also talk to you. It's also going to come with just a standard power brick, which is capable of doing 240 volts if you live outside the U.S. You have a dirty water tank here. And again, you can see how small capacity this is. There's no cyclonic separation. We do have a float valve for if it gets too full of water. And we do have a filter. And this is almost identical to all the other ones I've seen. We just have a screen and a filter. Again, if you have a lot of pet hair, you want to make sure you vacuum first. Really vacuum before you use this because this will just get overly saturated otherwise. You also have a very small uh, water tank. Again, that seems to be typical for most of these sort of things. They seem to be designed overseas, not with larger American homes in mind. It does specify in the manual to use Tyneco Solution, which I really like because this is one of the first ones of these that I've tested that actually tells you what solution to use. You want to avoid using things that aren't made for it. However, I don't have any Tyneco Solution, so I'm in a glass house with that one and I'm throwing rocks. I just put some Hoover Solution in there. Now we're going to start with my entryway here. It has been blizzarding and snowing here in Colorado. So we've tracked in lots of stuff, and I haven't had a chance to high zero it. So let's see how the Tyneco does just on this little mess. If you put the machine in the upright position, it does stop, and then when you tilt it back down, it resumes. So my first thoughts is for a battery powered auto scrubber, this leaves the floor really dry and I'm kind of impressed. However, I do see marks where the water was and streaks. Again, that could be the solution I'm using, but I really don't think so. I've seen this with other machines. It's fairly typical. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of a torture test and I figured I'm gonna try and duplicate what we did with the high zero review and we're gonna use uh, a latte, some tomato sauce, we have some hot sauce, and some mystery blue liquor for my wife. So let's see how it does on each one of these items. I'm going to use it on the max setting, of course, being a cordless machine. got in the grout but it still very much smells like coffee there let's give it another pass all right that smells a little less like coffee so yes it will clean up a coffee stain 
but you're gonna have to put the effort in. Next up is the marinara. You can't tell this on camera, but this whole thing smells like marinara now. And I can see the majority of it is in the brush roller. I might be buying our friend a new brush roller. Oh, my. Yeah. Let's check the filter. Is there stuff in the filter? No. So just from doing that, I'm beginning to think that the filtration on this machine might not be so great. Well, why stop there? Let's try a little bit of hot sauce. Well, just like the marinara, it now smells like sriracha in here. Let's try the mystery blue liqueur. Can't believe it. it looks like laundry detergent to me, not liqueur. <laughs> well, let's see how that does. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it really struggled picking that stuff up. And as you can see, there's plenty of blue stuff left on the floor. So yeah, I wouldn't use it for things that have a lighter viscosity that are alcohol based. It also kind of struggled with the latte. It seemed to do the best with the tomato sauce, despite it mostly getting in the roller. And of course, what fun would it be if we didn't just look at the roller. Yeah, the roller is like blue and red. <laughs> okay, so I guess maybe not for food stains. Leave the dirty water tank or the debris channel. Clean water tank empty. Please refill water and cleaning solution. Well, thank you. Clean water tank empty. Please refill water and cleaning solution. Don't you just love it when your appliances talk back? All right, well, the machine has talked back to us. And the first thing I've noticed is that the solution tank is completely empty, which it reminded us to. And then our dirty water tank is almost up to the line, but not quite. And the first thing I wanna see, as you can see, just like I said at the start of the video, it cannot handle a lot of large debris. We've already probably covered 25 to 30 percent of the filter area yeah the filter is quite moist in this machine as well so no cyclonic separation or anything like that let's dump the water now i thoroughly cleaned this before i started this review the machine was well rather dirty it's about six months old and my wife's friend uses it without a regular vacuum so again we can see some debris stuck in here it's curious that the nozzle has these openings for like a Venturian effect. You have brush roller is soaking wet. No hair or anything large in the end caps. That's good. And then we can see, yep, a lot of hair and stuff collects around the sprayer. So that's something you're gonna have to be aware of. Again, why you wanna use a real vacuum before you get started with something like this. One thing I do like is that the cap is attached to the tank so you don't have to worry about losing it. 
All right, I'm gonna play an unedited section here of what the cleaning cycle is. You're welcome to skip ahead 30 seconds in the video. Charging has commenced. Auto detecting whether to run self cleaning cycle. Please clean dirty water tank. Start self cleaning. Cleaning brush roller. Well, if you're like me and you're curious about the status of the robot uprising, let's check on it. This thing talks uh, a lot, and it tells you everything it's doing. Charging has commenced. Again, I just I just touch it, and that's what happens. Well, charging has commenced. <laughs> um, the roller. I mean, I guess it's a little cleaner. It ain't great. So, once again, the self-cleaning thing is better than nothing, but it's kind of questionable. The other thing that almost every one of these seems to do is it seems to kamikaze itself with water into the filter. Now, this side of the filter is quite moist as well, and I think that's why they give you a second one of these so you can have one drying while you use this. Not super, not super hyped about how these filters work. If it were me, I'd probably want to change this filter once a month or so. I'll tell you one thing I'm a little impressed by is the battery life. I was able to do about 1,200 square feet of tile in my house and I still have about 50% charge left. So the numbers are good there. It means you probably could get around 3,000 square feet on a single charge. However, the amount of times I've had to fill and empty the tanks is quite annoying. I complained that the high zero tanks were small. These are bigger tanks, but because it puts out more water, it goes through the water much faster. So it's really about every 250 to 300 square feet before you need to fill those tanks up. So if you have a larger house, you're gonna find that kind of annoying filling these tanks. Well, my final take on the Tyneco S3. Would I buy this machine? Man, is that conditional. There's really nothing that separates this one from the others. And that has been a consistent theme with these automop-like machines, is there's not a lot that separates them. They all come from China. None of them have dealer networks. There's very few parts available. And they all seem to have prices that fluctuate like the stock market. At the time of filming, this machine is just under $400. However, I've seen the machine as low as $200 over the years. So, you know, if the price is right, I'd say why not? I'd say the performance is slightly better than average that I've seen of these machines. But again, they're, if we're doing small areas, you need to vacuum first. At the end of the day, is this better than any of the products from Hoover? Say it's on par with the Hoover Floor Mate, maybe cleans up water a little bit better. I think there's two categories that maybe separate this machine. The performance is a little bit better. We're talking like 10% better. The maneuverability of the machine, the swivel neck that they have, is rather excellent. So if this video has been helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That helps us out a whole lot. If you decide you want to get one of these, I'll put a link below that benefits the channel. We really appreciate that. If you have one of these, I'd love to hear from you. Tell me what your experience is with this Tyneco. Don't forget to subscribe and have yourself a wonderful day.